everybody, it's Peggy, and I've uh, been asked for a tutorial on uh, Paige's card that she had sent to me. But before we get into that, um, I just want to say a great big thank you and welcome to all my new subbies. I really, really appreciate you subbing to my channel. Uh, and don't be shy. Leave comments, and if you have any questions about anything, anytime, just holler. Uh, remind you folks, too, that New Crafter Bev has a challenge going on right now. Queenie E has a challenge going on. And Tabasco14 also has a challenge. So, I uh, hope you'll go join in with their challenges just go to their channels and check out the details I'm not sure closing dates on any of those right off the top so if you want to join in go check them out and uh, <laughs> the mystery name that Paige was looking for for the person that she saw do the video of this card is Dawn5377 and she's actually one of the first people that I subscribed to when I first got onto YouTube. So this was Paige's card, if you'll remember. And they opened it up. And uh, the top and the bottom both flip open. And she's cut these holes through and stamped the flower. Now I made one to see if I knew what I was actually talking about here and uh, this is a, a new die that I got so I'm still playing with that and um, yeah I haven't cut a hole through mine I don't know whether I will or I won't but anyway that's what the inside of mine looks like so far we'll see whether we continue or not so, same card, two di very different looks. So you can do, you know, a lot of things with these, this uh, card. And you're going to kick yourself how simple this is, really. You need a piece of 8.5 by 11 card stock. You've got it landscaped. And you're going to score at two and three quarters. And um, where else are you going to score it? At eight and a quarter. And then you're going to swing it around and score it down the middle, which is four and a quarter. And bang, there you are. Get that out of the way. Now then, I think looking at pages, she's done this too. That uh, bumpy line from your scoring, just cut that out on either side. That'll uh, allow you to um, open the card easier. If that's not there. Ah, you moved on me. Rats. Alright, that's a little crooked. I'll probably have to come back and trim that up. So just on either side here. Up to the score line that's going up and down. And just take that out. Anybody that's done stained glass, <laughs> you know that you have to cut your your lines out. Okay. And then it's just a matter of folding it up. Both your sides here. And 
and then just flip it in half, give it a, a press, and there you are. That simple? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> but it's really easy, so you, that gives you your your two gate folds here. And there's your card. So that's um, eight and a half by eleven. Have it laying landscape. And you'll want to score it at two and three quarters and eight and a quarter. Then you swing it around, score it at four and a quarter, and there you go. That's your card. Um, and speaking of cards, show you a few that I've been working on lately. I really challenged myself this year to start making fancier cards. So uh, that's one that I've done. You need some fancier dies, and the big secret is layers. Lots and lots of layers. And that's got the cutout in the middle. That's the inside. And I've got flowers on this one. And this one I've got uh, the metal embellishments on it. And that's that new die that I'm still playing with here with uh, the metal and uh, that's just a couple of pieces of um, lace that I cut out. Oops, I actually have it upside down. And then just a, a sparkly in the middle. I haven't got anything done to the inside of that one. And then I like this one too. And that's just a couple of scalloped ovals. And there's a fancy oval, and then there's the plain oval here that's been cut into a frame that's embossed in back. Just some flowers on there, and that's the inside. So I was pleased with how they turned out. And this is just a, a simpler one that I've done. And uh, if you watch my video about embossing, heat embossing, that's the distress embossing powder and it it feels like sandpaper but it looks like sand so that's why I like to have it for but anyway so those are some cards that I've been working on lately so if you have any questions about anything there you go just give me a holler and we'll see what we can do for you okay folks we'll talk to you later take care bye